5G is a new enabler for not only telecommunication development, not only connectivity, but also for changing all industries. And I think that this is our opportunity to create a new competitive advantage for Europe. We are not anymore developing a new technological generation of infrastructures. We are really transforming the telecommunication infrastructure as an infrastructure for society and for industry. This is the big change. This means in the design of this infrastructure, in the conceptualization, in the uh, decision of what vision we have towards 5G, we cannot do it only with the traditional operators or manufacturers. We have to involve the big set of industrial stakeholders and our economic actors at large. Europe has several uh, top-class companies uh, mobile operators, satellite operators, mobile vendors, uh, universities, R&D agencies. These can all and should all work together uh, to make 5G happen. We believe at Orange that uh, 5G will be the next steps uh, of uh, telecommunication industry, but uh, it will be slightly different from what we used to have in the past, which was very teco-centric, that part, and this time uh, we need also to involve additional players in the picture, uh, typically the, uh, what we call the verticals, uh, everybody is thinking about automotive industry, but we think that it's very definitely not the only one that we need to target at. Um, I think there's some obvious examples like uh, you know automated uh, cars, self-driving cars, drones, those type of things that require low latency and um, ultra reliability. But then there's a whole range of other type of use cases, perhaps more in the the, the public sector type of space, like like smart metering or healthcare or uh, you know environmental control or crime reduction, sort of things that um, probably don't generate so much revenue in their own right, but when aggregated together can provide some, some quite useful benefits. We'll see deployments in 2020. You know, personally, I don't think we'll see deployments much before that. I think there is a risk that um, different parts of the world try and do things at different speeds and we end up with a fragmented standard if we're not careful, so people deploy networks before standards are really ready. Um, I, I also think that um, now, 4 g still got a long way to go in Europe, and most countries haven't yet finished their rollouts, and probably that will you know, be finished, won't be finished much before 2020. So there's a risk that we sort of push 5G earlier than it's really needed, and therefore it becomes a bit stillborn, I think. But 5G is a little bit different than the older technologies, because it's going to be impacting a lot more areas than before, verticals, uh, public works, and so on. And to be more successful, Europe needs to actually build a 5G network because we need to learn how to use that technology and we need to take some time to transform these kind of vertical sectors. So we should not only develop and research, but we got to be the first ones to actually build it. So we are very glad that our commission announced in the Mobile World Congress this idea of a 5G action plan. Not anymore to stay at the level of research, not anymore to stay at the level of the standardization, but really try to coordinate investments to make sure that Europe is not just leading on the research, but is also leading on the deployment and that we can make our industry enjoy this fantastic infrastructure that will give them a competitive advantage in the world of the next decade.